Hey, what's up, everyone? Uh, all right, I want to do something a little bit different today. Um, let's do a book review. Uh, I've been trying to read more books and uh, get into reading some more. Uh, been mixing it between nonfiction stuff and fiction. Um, just trying to switch it up. But uh, let's talk about this one. How to Get Filthy Rich in Rising Asia. Um, all right, so right off the bat, uh, the title sounds like it's probably going to be a business book that's explaining, um, you know, how you can make money. Uh, but don't worry, I'm not dropping everything and moving to Asia to go find out a way that I can get rich and successful and all this kind of stuff. Uh, it's a it's a novel, um, which was I got to say it was fantastic. I lo I loved it. I got through the whole thing. It's about 225 pages in just about five or six days, which is really quick for me. Uh, usually uh, it takes me a while, but this one I really was able to dive into and uh, really enjoyed reading it a lot more than I thought I would. Um, this book was recommended by Tim Ferriss. Um, if you don't know who Tim Ferriss is, uh, I'll show you here. So this is Tim Ferriss. He's... Um, I guess you can describe him as being the, the ultimate life hack type of guy. He wrote a book called The 4-Hour Workweek. Um, he's got a new one called A Tribe of Mentors. And this guy is um, just a really fascinating guy. He's, um, you name it, he's done it. He, he just got a way of really um, almost mastering these different skills in a short amount of time. Uh, so if you, if you don't know Tim Ferriss, uh, definitely go check him out. But, um, let's get back to the, to the book review. Um, so what's really interesting about this one is that it's written in the second person. So it's talking to you, uh, the author, uh, it's written from the point of view of a male. Um, and it's kind of a, at first I thought it was a coming of age story which in, in a way it is, but uh, it actually moves through this character's life super quickly. Um, it takes place somewhere, obviously, in uh, in Asia. You kind of get some hints along the way that um, it might be um, somewhere like Pakistan, which would make sense. The, um, the author, uh, Moshin Hamid, is from Pakistan, but it never says. Um, so what happens is... It follows this guy's journey from a small small town somewhere in Asia, uh, moving into the big city and um, seeking uh, success. So it's almost a like a tongue in cheek um, a self help book, I, I, I would say. Um, along the way, he uh, there's a girl who he just refers to as the pretty girl, and they seem to cross paths. Um, throughout their lifetimes and they have these interactions and um, while he's trying to make it in his business he you know goes through some ups and downs and um, we get to see some of his challenges and what he faces in his quest for success uh, but I won't talk about the plot too much I, I will just say that it's brilliantly written uh, it's not too often that I read a book where I'm just glued, uh, to each word and to each page. And I mean, it's definitely a page turner. Um, you can really imagine what he's going through and the places he is. And, uh, even though we can jump forward from, you know, his teenage years to being in his thirties, um, almost from one page to the next. So it just zooms by, but uh, there's some parts in there, um, some of his interactions with uh, the pretty girl that some might find a little risque. Um, it's not um, over the top detailed, I guess. I mean, uh, it depends on, I guess, what you're used to reading. But um, I would say, you know, it's more of a little bit of an adult book uh, for sure. Um, and but it's easy to read. It's easy. It, it, there, it gives you a lot to think about. Um, I think when you can go through somebody's life uh, in a single book like that, 
it makes you think how, how quickly we, we almost have it that way. Life can zoom by and there's things that we think might be super important at the time that when looking back, they, they might be insignificant details where sometimes if we don't take advantage of the moments we're in at that time, um, you know, we don't want to look back and regret those. So there are little life lessons, I think, in this book. Maybe everybody will interpret it, interpret the book a bit differently. But I 100% um, I would recommend this. Uh, again, I think it depends on what you enjoy reading. But this was a nice break away from a lot of the business books I've been reading lately. Um, so I've been trying to mix in a little bit of uh, fictional reading. Um, so there you go. Um, how to get filthy rich in rising Asia. All right, go check it out. All right, bye.